Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining in today. We are at Sharjah Book Fair, Sharjah UAE and uh, I'm very happy to share one of our authors. She has uh, come here with uh, taking time out from her busy schedule to speak to all of us. Uh, she has a book launch here. She's also meeting a lot of her audience. Uh, there is an author signing event happening. But before that, I thought, let me catch her and you know speak to her about her book. So let me introduce you Dr. Chavi Kalra. Uh, she is one of the most uh, renowned personalities. She is a multi-talented personality. She has done a lot of things in her life. I want you to look her name on LinkedIn and Instagram, know more about her. She is a very powerful uh, soul. Now, uh, she has written a book which uh, is in my hand. You see this nice cover. Uh, can you show your book too? Sure. It's Miraj, Mrigtrishna and Maya. So you are going to talk about this book uh, and why she wrote a book and a lot of things about that book. First of all, thank you, Shavi, for joining in and coming from so far uh, only to meet your audience, your readers and share your thoughts. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kailash, for having me here. It's an honor and uh, thank you so much uh, to Shah Jahan um, authorities for selecting my book for the launch in Shah Jahan Expo. This is a very prestigious uh, honor for me. <laughs> Uh, so, and I would like to thank Dr. Kailash for publishing my book, uh, Bing's Publication International, because the way you have done my book, it's come out perfectly amazing. <laughs> so we just did a little bit of work by, you know, the kind of knowledge she has, the kind of uh, life she lives on. It's a very powerful life and every author shares their own story. So I want to share first question to you. I want to ask a question. Can you help us understand the name of the book, which is Miraj, Mirtishna and Maya? What's this all about and why did you pick this as a name? Okay, so this book, Miraj, Mirtishna, Maya, where I talk about hallucinations, desires and delusions. And all of us go through all these things in our life day to day, where uh, my book connects you to your higher self, to understand you better mentally, physically and spiritually. So by reading this book, you will come across a lot of uh, situations, a lot of experiences of your own life where you will get the answers of your own problems. And this is not only for uh, one uh, particular group, this is for all age. This starts from children to teenage uh, and to youngsters, those who are looking for career, even for the people, those who are coming across a lot of issues in their uh, relations or their careers or their uh, mental problems as uh, this is uh, a mental awareness month. So I'll talk about that as well, how people go through uh, mental issues when uh, it starts like because it connects from morning till evening how we start a day. So with that, I will add on to this is again till 80 years uh, senior citizens as well. So it will help everyone, everyone in every way. I have an interesting question. It's a personal question on my side. I understand Miraj a little bit of it, Maya a little, little bit of it. But what is Mikrishna and you know, endless thrust? Can you help us define this so, in a in a day-to-day -day life's perspective? Okay, so endless thirst is like, you know, we really know that what we are looking for, but the thing is, uh, we always searching for it behind everyone or we are looking for like, okay, I'll give you an example, like everyone is looking for love. So love is something uh, they are searching for, today they have one relationship, tomorrow they'll have with someone else. And where they are always, uh, they find that love from someone, but then they get bored very easily because this generation is like that. You find something, you get it, and then you get bored. Then you want to jump to other person. So, and again, you get that restlessness. But they are not understanding that the love you are searching for is all inside you. This is about self-love. It's not about you are searching everywhere. So, Mrik Krishna means, uh, which is uh, called, there is a gland in deer. So, deer is always searching for, because deer also smell that having the smell, fragrance is coming from everywhere. And he keeps searching, running for it. But he doesn't know that fragrance is inside him only. Oh, yes. So, uh, this is the beauty uh, of I, humanity I, as well. I want to talk in Hindi. We see a heron, the whole life is like a khushbu. We say that kasturi. And that kasturi is always inside it. Right. But uh, it keeps searching and wow, so powerful. Yeah. I have goosebumps right now because <laughs> If someone looks at one word called Mikrishna and life can change, if yes. someone reads this entire book, what will happen? 
So, what is your uh, inspiration writing this book? Where where does uh, this thirst comes in that I want to share this important knowledge with the world? Okay, so being a grand Reiki healer, a lot of people used to come to me with their problems. And when they used to come, I used to do counseling, give them healing. So what they always used to say, why don't you write something for us, which will be really helpful. So then I thought, why not, if something can help others. So And there are so many people, they are not able to reach to me. So this book can reach to everyone, where people can read, they can uh, follow it up, and they can find their solutions in life. So this was the purpose that uh, it can go one to everyone and they can find the... Yeah, I, I know, I've been telling you, she's a multi-talented personality, she spoke about Reiki. But if you look at the book, uh, we have tried to cover it up, what all she does, so... Uh, she's a definitely... Uh, a powerful Reiki, she, she conducts a lot of powerful Reiki, Reiki workshops. Yes. Reiki is the world of energies and that's the real world which Albert Einstein spoke to, is E is equal to MC squared. Right. Uh, then uh, she got uh, Dubai Business Leadership Award uh, for uh, singing and multi-talented art, being a multi-talented multi artist, singing, painting, a lot of other things. Uh, she's also received an award for uh, Jannat song, she got an award for that also from Indian Cine Film uh, uh, Film Festival Mumbai. Uh, she is also honored uh, award by Radio Adda Mumbai uh, for a song Nazar and Jannat. Uh, she also is a PhD. She is a doctorate. She has done degree in art and uh, music. Uh, she has Archaeonic Women Inspiration Award. She inspires a lot of people. And I can keep flipping a couple of pages and I, I would say she can write the book on a lot of things. So I want you to follow her on Instagram, go to LinkedIn, look at her profile, definitely go to Amazon, buy this book so uh, you can get inspired and have a better life. Uh, I want you to go back to book and I want to ask you a question that what is the favorite chapter or favorite part of the book for you? I know there are a lot of things which are favorite, difficult to pick up but still one of which... So when for writer, you know, their book is like a baby. Yeah. You know, you, because each and every chapter we write from our heart and soul. So, but there are certain chapters, yes, uh, like there is one chapter about my dad, where I've spoken about him, how he came out from cancer and uh, he survived and he's completely fine now. Then there is another book where uh, this girl from uh, Australia, so I helped her out because her life was completely haywire because she was in a major depression and uh, she lost her job where she was not working, she was sitting at home. Uh, for I think two to three years they've been going for medical help and all mm. that but then uh, nothing helped and uh, then she came to me. Wow. I took her out from that and now she's having a happy life, she has two kids. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Yes. And uh, uh, let's look at youth. If you uh, would like to give advice to a youth to live a very peaceful, blissful, successful life, what advice would you like to give a, give to a youth to have a beautiful See, life? Uh, for me, I would like to say to the youth is like, first of all, don't take too much pressure because they get fascinated by a lot of things as we talk about desires. So they get fascinated and especially fascinated by social media. As I say, social media is not what you see. Everything is not true. So they get fascinated by other fake things, which is not rather, you know, be in a real world and just focus on themselves. Because uh, there are certain uh, kids I've come across and I'm working on them. They try to imitate others. They think that the way other people are talking or walking and uh, the yeah, way their lifestyle and all, so they try to fake themselves, where they start losing themselves. So not to do that, whatever way you are, you are just perfect. So just work on, because I want them to have uh, their journey in a better way. Like, you know, yeah. go in a happy way rather than uh, getting uh, depressed. Because nowadays, even because of the studies, they are losing on their uh, mental issues and all that stuff. So I really want them to play out because nowadays kids are not going out. They are not playing no. because our time we used to have uh, a lot sports. of play game outside. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they are having all indoor games nowadays. So if they go out and they have some good air, so that will also refresh their mind. So I would, when I was listening to this advice, it is true to me too. So it was not only to youth, it is for everyone. Uh, 
and it's very universal advice but very powerful advice. Yes. I want to touch upon one of the chapters which is uh, was touched me a lot. Uh, it's in the world we live in, which is we call it Kali Yuga and a lot of things happen. A lot of people don't understand the meaning of life and they chase wrong things. Mm -hmm. How do you find trust in this world? See, first thing is, th that's what I always say, everything starts from yourself. Wow. So first you have to trust yourself because if you are not confident enough about yourself, so anything you look here and there, you will not find anything because that's how create confidence in you. And when you are confident, you can just walk like a cakewalk. <laughs> Wonderful. So you don't have to always keep like, there are, as I said, there are kids who are always begging for friendship. Yeah. I know. This is also a very common factor nowadays. So they feel very lonely when they don't have friends. They don't have friends because all the time they are into gadgets. Yes. So if they come out of gadgets, they can have uh, communication with each other. So that's where they are lacking with each other. I just want to divert the topic to a little different uh, area. I want you to share with all of us, other than writing, other than your you know, singing and Reiki, what other hobbies you have uh, in your day-to-day -day life or maybe Sundays. So what all you follow? I play piano because wow. piano is one which relaxes my mind. So I have a piano at home. So whenever it's like uh, in a peaceful mind, I want to just play piano for some time, Wonderful. sing some songs. And that's all. And then we have. I'm. Um, uh, we are very fond of pets. So pets are something. They you have pets. Yes. Okay. Can always. you share a little bit about your pets? So we have this cat. His name is Tiger. Wow. And he's a survivor basically because his mom was uh, killed by street dogs, and uh, he was there for adoption. So we got him. Wow. And he's like a prince in the house. <laughs> Wonderful. So you don't know from where to where destiny takes. <laughs> And uh, if I want you to share something, uh, which world doesn't know about you, some something which which is not very commonly known, would like to share with the audience about you or about anything which you want to share with the world, no. or maybe a little funny fact, anything. So see, uh, for me, I'm I'm a very different person when I'm with the family. I'm completely different. We joke around, we dance, and we crack a lot of jokes, which uh, outer world will never get to know because I'm completely a different person. Oh, wow. And sometimes I really laugh and I say, Ki, if outer people will see where I go as a ju jury or I go as a chief guest or whatever, I said, if they'll see me in this kind of. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they can never ever imagine that I do all such things as well. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So with my so, kids, I'm just like friends and we crack jokes and uh, sometimes even they are amazed. Ki, okay, <laughs> wonderful. you can do all this. So, and uh, what one message would you like to give to your younger self? So if I ask you a question that uh, when you were 18 and somehow you get a chance through a time machine, go back to when you were 18. And you want to give one advice to yourself, what advice would you like to give? What one advice I will give? Give to your 18 year younger self. Uh, I think um, I, for myself, I would be, frankly speaking, I lived my even 18, even my 16 and even my 20s and now also I have lived completely, fully. fully. Wow. Because I was always a very carefree person and uh, I think yeah, this advice I can give. Because for me, everything was not like uh, whatever I achieved till today. I never took any stress. For my, yes, one very important thing is never think about how the result is going to be. For me, everything used to be whether I was a badminton champion, whether I was doing my painting, I was an artist, I was receiving award. For me, I used to give my 100% what I was doing. Wonderful. That just do full heartedly. So and you would say be, you would say to yourself, keep following. You're doing right things. Just keep trusting yourself and keep working. Yeah, on that's what I always say. Wonderful. Because when you focus on results, you are not focusing on whatever you are doing. And uh, one thing, if I ask you, which you would like to leave as a legacy for your great grandchildren who would come in later when you are not there. One one thing as a legacy, would you like to leave? What would you would like to leave it? With? I think uh, that's what my writing. Because wow. I want them to always, any point of time when they are confused in life or whatever, so they can find their answers in my book. Wow. <laughs> this is yeah, so books is a legacy. <laughs> people, yes. people just, we all have the limited lifetime given. Books live for thousands of years. Yes, yes. She's immortal. 
because of the book yes. and uh, it's a wonderful journey. So one advice, one the last question from my side, one advice would you like to give to the listeners who want to be an author? So any advice you want to be, want, want to give it to authors uh, who are struggling to write or they're confused? You're a senior author now, you've written, <laughs> so what would you like to share? Uh, so for authors, I would like to say, see, first of all, you have to always, uh, when we start writing, we are always confused. We don't know how to start. So once you start writing, you have your own time for that particular day. You sit and I always believe in Brahma Urat, as I always say, because that is the time you always get uh, nice frequencies and uh, your mind is so fresh. But keep writing, keep writing, keep sharing your thoughts because your thoughts are very powerful. And when you write something, it always gives message to the world, Wonderful. which can help in many ways. Wonderful. So keep writing. Keep writing. Keep writing. Okay. And uh, one, uh, if uh, any of our audience want to get connected to you for keynote speaking in their companies, in the college, or some advice, maybe taking your professional consultation, how should they reach you? They can reach to me through mail, as my name is Chavi Wang at live.com they can connect to me over there and then i have my website they can connect me over there as well uh, then my profiles are there so what i would recommend wherever you are right now whatever country you are in go to amazon search the book with the name of the yes. book or the name of the author and behind the book on the back cover you have the contact details yes. our authors are reachable okay <laughs> only one action you're supposed to take is just move forward buy that book and change your life Definitely. And when we have publisher like you, Wings Publication, Thank you. it becomes very easy. Yes, definitely. Thank because you. I had an amazing time and beautiful journey of publishing with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And yes, uh, we named this company Wings because we want to give wings to people. Yeah, so. yeah that's Thank nice. you for it. And thank you, Chavi, for joining in. And a lot of uh, people are waiting for you to get their book signed. So we would like to take a leave. Thank you very much for joining in. And Bye. let me uh, you know, allow her to go to people, meet up, get the book signing done. And see you soon again. Bye-bye. Thank you.